So my truck, I went to pull a car trailer with it and noticed that I had the seven pin connector on my, uh, on my truck, but, and it's got a tow package with it. Well, it didn't have the trailer brake switch in the dash. And I looked under the dash and seen that I had the plugs there, the wiring for it. So I got online, I had this box, I ordered this, this box showed up. It, had, it has a new module in it for the trailer brakes, for the factory trailer brakes. And, what oh shit, a new dash switch. So, all brand new, cost me like 60 bucks, nothing major. I'll put the link on, on in the description. Um, I was trying to order it from some, uh, somewhere here in America, it messed up, and they sent me an offer to get it cheaper. And I ended up going ahead and buying it. It came from China, it took me about 10 days for it to get here. But, uh... Let's hook it up and let's see what uh, happens. All right, so I pulled the two screws from here and here. And as you can see, now everything is loose. And there is my wires for the trailer brake module. Now I just got to figure out where it screws into it. Um. But as you can see, taking, where did I put it? Taking the new module. Let me set this to where it'll continue to record. But, this plug goes there's this plug and there's this plug as you can see this plug goes here and plugs right in and this one plugs in right over here so let's unplug it and let's figure out where exactly this goes to so okay so now if you look up here that's the orientation and the direction it goes I haven't got it mounted in place so just matching up the screw holes now I'm going to get the uh, screws that came with it and actually install it in place, then plug these connectors into it. Okay, so I plugged the module up, as you can see, tested it. Couldn't reach the screws, so I went ahead and started popping the bezel out around my radio so I can get my uh, trailer brake switch placed right here. And uh, so far, the only screws I found was these two in the top. Uh, you just gotta lift the uh, little rubber cover off, and then there's two screws in there. My truck's dirty, so bear with me. But uh, I'm fixing to go ahead and pop the bezel the rest of the way off. Now with the bezel laying over in my truck, you can see there's my four wheel drive switch. This is where the trailer brakes goes. This is for my air ride. And as you can see, the switch isn't there. But guess what? The wiring is. So once I remove this, I can pop this uh, blank plug out and install the, uh, the new switch. So this switch will go right there and latch into place. So now, and then I'll have trailer brake controls. So, let's get that removed. While I'm in here, I'll be able to reach in and put the screws in for the uh, 
for the module that's sitting in right there that I haven't I haven't been able to reach the screws to yet but there you go your wiring's already here and there's a blank plug there so moving forward I'm going to get that removed it's kind of hard to do by myself but I'm gonna go ahead and, and hold the camera but I'm gonna remove that and get that plugged in and then start working on the screws for the uh, module okay so now this that actually locks them in place there's four screws and once you lift it up everything will snap out so now my new module will snap in from the bottom like this And you see, now it's latched in. So now I'll take it and set it back in place and I'll put these four screws, there's two over here and two over there, and I'll put them in and they'll be latched in place. Okay, I went ahead and put everything back together. As you can see, it's secured in. There's my trailer brake switch now. Everything's put back together. I now have my tablet here. And I just plugged in the uh, OBD Link uh, MX Plus, and now I'm going to go to Alpha OBD. Find my truck. Let me turn this off. Yeah, around 1500. And where are my keys? Here are my keys. Let's see. So I'll turn my key on. Turn this off. Now then, let's go to body computer. It's 2014. We go to 2014. Come go here. Go Bluetooth. Now we'll connect. All right. Now it's connected to the OBD link. You come right here. My 2014. Let's connect to the body computer. Now it's connected. Let's go right over here to this. Procedure to start. Scroll all the way to the bottom. Car configuration change. And it says select option. I'm typing in there's trailer tow present current status is yes okay Maybe I gotta type in break. Oh, there you go. Integrated trailer brake module. Let's go to enable. Right now it says not enabled. So let's switch it to enabled. Okay, procedure completed. Let's see if it enabled it now. Yep, it's showing now it's enabled. So now,
Let me crack the door to get the light on. So now, there it is. Let me hit the plus, and it automatically popped up on my dash. Light Electric 5.0. There we go. See, now I have active working trailer brakes. And all I did was plug it in there, plug it in here, and then activate it with the OBD link. Oh, uh, and Alpha OBD, yeah. Used Alpha OBD to turn it on using the OBD link Bluetooth dongle. So now, see how easy it is. I seen on inside of my dash that I have the option for the, uh, the wires are there for the 115 volt plug. That's something I'm gonna go ahead and order and add in there. I'm going to put some auxiliary switches in too, because as you can see, I've got like this whole area right here where I can add auxiliary switches. So that's going to be my next thing, is to add some of those switches. Uh, what I'm going to use them for, I have no idea, but I am going to add them. Um, I'm going to go even further, and I'm going to change the cluster out. Uh, I've seen the plugs in there for the remote start. That's the next thing I'm going to add. Um, as far as adding the trailer brakes, if y'all have any questions, just, you know, comment, ask me. And uh, we'll move forward with, uh, with other things as we go. But for now, that's it. Uh, now my truck has electronic trailer brakes. And they're actively working. So, I'll move on to the next thing as we go. I'll continue to add features and show people how to add features so that they can add them to their vehicles. Um, like I said, if you have any questions, just feel free to comment and ask, and uh, I'll help in any way possible.